The Adventures of Toby the Ground Squirrel, Chapter 2, Toby and the Bully, by Cynthia Bergsbachen. It was a beautiful, sunny summer day. The birds were out singing, the sky was a brilliant blue color, and the bees were out visiting flowers. The air was filled with freshly mown grass smell. Toby loved days like this, and so Toby made plans to run across the meadow and play with his new cousin. His new cousin, Charlie, was born four months earlier in a hole across the meadow. Toby was excited to meet his cousin and play. Toby ran out of his hole and ran across the meadow. As Toby was getting closer to his cousin's hole, a big black bird named Fritz flew down in front of him. Fritz was a black bird who was the same age as Toby. In fact, Toby knew him from school. As Toby could see his cousin Charlie's hole, he thought he had tried to run to it. And so Toby ran. But Fritz chased him and caught up to him, pecking his back of his legs and his tail. Ouch! 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 said Toby. Toby was scared and tired and hurt. And so Toby ran home to his own hole. Fritz followed Toby for a little longer, pecking Toby's back legs and tail. Ouch! 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 yelled Toby. As soon as Toby was near his hole, he dove into the safety of his hole. Toby was shaking with fear and feeling sore. Toby knew that Fritz had been mean to other kids as well as himself. For days, Toby would not leave his hole for fear of being hurt again. Toby, said his mom, wouldn't you like to go outside and play with your new cousin, Charlie? No, Mom, said Toby. Toby! Do you want to go outside and play with your friends? No, Mom, said Toby. Toby, are you being bullied, said Mom. Toby slowly looked up at his mom as teardrops fell down his cheek. Toby, sometimes in life we need to stand up for ourselves. First, let's talk about bullies. Kids who are bullies are kids who have been bullied themselves. When someone is bullied over and over, sometimes that child becomes angry and mean. Other times, the child becomes sad and doesn't want to play anymore. Why do others bully, Mom? said Toby. Many others will see differences in some of us. It can be a different skin color. Like these birds, they have different colored feathers. It can be a different body shape, like in these flowers. They are all the same white color, but they all have different shapes. It can be a different hobby we do. You like to gather dry grass in your mouth, while dogs like to gather sticks in their mouths. Many times it's just being different in some special way that makes someone bully someone else. Some are scared to be different. They are scared to share their differences with others. And so they share their hurt by hurting others who are different than them, said Toby's mom. Toby, kids who are bullying you by acting mean towards you are scared inside just like you are of them. But they are scared for a different reason they are scared because they feel they have no friends. Everyone needs a friend to love them, and everyone needs to love themselves as well. So Toby, the next time you're being bullied, I want you to have and remember courage, understanding, and love. The courage to stand up to the bully with your words, being kind, but also telling the bully in a firm and loud voice what they have been doing to you, how it makes you feel, and to stop it. Understanding. Understanding how the bully really feels inside. He feels sad, lonely, and scared. And love. 
Love in your heart to understand how the bully feels inside of himself. Love in your heart to stand up to the bully. Love in your heart to know when to walk away from the bully. And love in your heart to show kindness to the bully. The next day, Toby was excited to play with his cousin, Charlie. Toby ran out of his hole full of joy as he was nearing Charlie's hole. Fritz the blackbird ran in front of him. Where are you going, Toby? Ah! Fritz said. On my way, Fritz. I'm going to play with my cousin Charlie, said Toby. If you can run fast enough, you can pass me without getting hurt. Ka! said Fritz. Fritz was getting ready to run and peck Toby, but then Fritz became confused. Instead of running, Toby walked up closer to Fritz. Fritz, every time I come to play with my cousin Charlie, you run after me and peck my back and my legs and tail. Fritz, it hurts my feelings and it hurts my back and my legs and tail. I feel sad and I feel sore. Please stop doing this and stop bullying me, said Toby. Fritz was still confused. He had never had someone stand up to him before. Toby continued, Fritz, why are you bullying me and other kids? No one wants to be my friend. Everyone thinks there's something wrong with me because I have one white tail feather. All the rest of the blackbirds have all black feathers. But I was born with one white feather in my tail. It makes me feel lonely and sad to be different. No one wants to be my friend, said Fritz. I will be your friend, said Toby. Fritz couldn't remember the last time he felt so much love in his heart. Come on, Fritz! We can join my cousin and I in my cousin and I in a game of hide and seek, said Toby. But Fritz, one thing. Please don't think you are the only one who is different. We all can see that you are different by the color of your tail feather. But some of us have other differences that are not so noticeable. Let's not let our differences cause us any more hurts towards each other. Is that a deal? Said Toby. That's a deal, said Fritz. Thanks. Ka! Why? Why, thanks for being my friend. Ka, ka, ka.